Hey YouTube, welcome to Herbie's Reef. Today we thought we'd just do a really quick video to show you guys how we quarantine our fish. Um, we've got these two little bitty tangs for the new frag tank just to see if they can help keep the algae out. And uh, we use the tank transfer method for these guys. And that's a method that you really don't even have to medicate. It, the way it works is when you are, it mainly works for ick but while you're doing the trans tank transfer process, you watch for other problems. And you can use some Prazacro or something for bacterial infections while you're doing it. But the main goal is to make sure that they don't have ick. And hopefully in the 12 days that it takes to do this, if they had velvet, which would be even worse than ick, that will show up during that time. It's not a guarantee, but I think the chances are pretty good that you'd start seeing some symptoms by that time. So what you do, um, the, the way it works is ick every three days falls off the fish, it goes into the water column, and then it will come back and reattach to the fish at a later point in its life cycle. So every three days you transfer the fish to a new clean tank. So we have two exact same setups, both 20 gallon tanks. They both have two separate heaters, I have separate PVC, separate bubblers, and separate, um, I guess that's it, separate everything. So you keep, so while this one, we're gonna move them over here in just a second because they've been in this tank for three days, which is why it's getting kind of cloudy. You do have to kind of keep an eye on your ammonia, by the way, because these are not, obviously not cycled tanks. But uh, they're ready for a transfer. And what we're gonna do, the goal is to not get any more water from this tank than we absolutely have to into this tank. And so I've cleaned, while this one was, while they were in this one for three days, we cleaned this one with vinegar. Some people use bleach, I just use vinegar. I let it dry out really good and I give everything a really thorough cleaning. Um, dry it real good, put new water in, and then we just transfer them over. So what I use to transfer them, I've got this, uh, I don't know what this is, colander maybe? And I use this thing, I find with it being square like this, it's easy to scoop them up and they're probably gonna make it look really hard to scoop them up. Okay, so there's one, try to get all the water off, and then we're gonna just flip them in there. And, oh, and obviously you need to have the other tank up to the same temperature, the same salinity, because you can't do an acclimation there's this guy and there they are so now they're in a new home for three days if they happen to have high ammonia you could do a water change or you could even do it uh, this is my own theory I don't know if it's accurate or not but occasionally I'll just transfer tanks again early but if you do that you still have to at the three-day mark transfer it again so like if I transfer it at two days then they're only gonna be in that tank for a day and I have to transfer them again because if the ick falls off, you want to get them in a new tank during that time. Also, you cannot add any new fish while you're in the middle of this process or you have to start the whole thing over. Um, but it's a good time to get to kind of watch the fish and get them used to you and also uh, keep an eye out. Oh, and I think if you uh, give Prazapro, normally I do that on the second and the fourth transfer. Um, but I don't always do it. I just kind of watch them and if I, if I don't think they've got anything wrong with them, I don't do it. I'm not as big of a quarantiner as some guys. If you wanted to though, um, you could. Just make sure you really aerate it because I have lost a few fish during Prazapro treatments. So make sure it's got lots of oxygen in the water. I don't know if that's what got mine, but somebody said that might have been it. Anyhow, I don't know if I described the science exactly right behind all of it, but I've had really good luck with this technique better than when I tried to use copper and uh, so far it's worked for me. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe.